How do you put Wu Wei or non doing into action? Wu Wei is a very elegant concept. You go with the flow of nature and do things effortlessly, but because you are running on the wave of nature and nature is powerful, so you'll be able to create better result despite the fact that you are not forcing things through, uh, that you don't strive. But the thing is, how can you make sure that in everything that you do in life, you apply Wu Wei? A lot of people find it to be difficult um, because they associate Wu Wei with um, the past performers of um, the sports person or uh, the artist. You know, um, they always um, associate it with the flow or in the, being in the zone. Um, so, you know, uh, the performer is uh, totally mesmerized, totally focused, totally relaxed and they will be able to bring out the best in them. But how can you be always in that kind of state uh, when you are doing things? So, is uh, Wu Wei too elegant to be practical? Well, I think this is quite a misunderstanding. In fact, um, you know, we are doing Wu Wei all the time and I'm going to give you some examples. Um, well, among the best of them is um, breathing. We breathe all the time, every minute, every second. But do you think about it? No, you don't. You do it effortlessly. But does it help you a lot? <laughs> Definitely, otherwise you, you, you would not be um, alive. Um, but you know, we are doing it. Even when we are sleeping, we don't think about it, we are doing it. Just imagine that you, you know, were to force it or to strive to do it better. Actually, it hamper um, the effectiveness of uh, your breath. Why? Because you are intervening with the flow of nature. So, this is a very uh, good example of Wu Wei. And in fact, all of us, knowing it or not, we are practicing it. So, the art is not anything that's foreign to us. It is part of us. But the thing is, why why can't we do everything in an effortless manner, you know, um, to let Wu Wei just to happen naturally? Why can't we do that? As a matter of fact, we can see our bodies um, to be uh, metaphorically um, in behaving in two, two ways. The first is um, our natural body, in the sense that it's totally natural, innate, spontaneous. And the other is controlled by our ego, by our desire, by our thinking. And the natural body of ours and the controlled body of ours don't always agree with each other. That's where the problems arise. Now, we know that, um, you know, to breathe naturally is um, Wu Wei and it is the best thing to do. But when we are on stage to give a speech, for example, we begin to get nervous and we, we quicken our breath and you know, it, it compromises our performance without us knowing. Um, so, in fact, we look at it. Uh, although Wu Wei is supposed to be part of our life, but because of our ego, because of our desire, um, actually, we suppress it. So, if we can go back to nature, in the sense that then you can, we can nurture uh, the way uh, that we uh, behave ourselves in such a way that we go back to our natural self, then, in fact, we'll be able to release a lot more of our power. But, you know, to do that um, is um, not easy because <laughs> It's very ironical. The more that we need Wu Wei, in fact, the more difficult that we get it. You know, just imagine that you are going on your first date and then you, know, you want yourself to be as natural as possible, but 
you know, somehow uh, you get nervous and then you do silly things. It happens all too often in life. So um, we have to nurture ourselves, <laughs> uh, strangely, uh, to go back to our natural self so that um, we will be able to perform more um, by allowing our innate self uh, to perform its best. And in fact, that's the most powerful part of us. But again, how do we get started? I think first and foremost, it is important for us to realize that there are different levels of Wu-Wei, um, some of which are easier to attain. Um, and I would suggest that you know, we begin on uh, 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 those level, and then you know some of them will be difficult to attain. Then we make it something like you know our life pursuit, and I will broadly divide the application of way into five levels. Let's look at them. We are not going to uh, talk about them uh, in details today. Uh, we'll do it uh, in other uh, future videos, but. Knowing them would help because then you know what to expect from Wu Wei. And then, you know, uh, by looking at the simple ones, then we will be able to begin something from today uh, and begin to enjoy um, better quality of life um, as a result of practicing them. So let's look at the first level. The first level actually is quite simple, but I must stress that if you can't let go, whatever level, level one or level five, they are all difficult, but if you can let go, then you'll be able to enjoy something um, very interesting from today onward. And the first level is um, just not to go against the flow of nature. Um, anything that's going against the flow of nature, don't do it. Uh, for example, um, we don't overeat. Because when you overeat, actually you are burdening your body, so it can't function as natural as um, uh, it is supposed to be. So it's just as simple as that. So that's level one. Level two is that don't intervene the flow of nature. Now, if you are cooking a dinner, before the food is cooked, don't take it out from the oven because you are intervening the uh, cooking process, uh, which is um, best uh, done by nature, or you know, if you were a farmer, don't harvest your crop before uh, the, the, the crops are ready for harvest, right? So, um, at this level, it requires patience. And then um, the third level is to go with the flow of nature. Right? If, if everything is ready. Just go with the flow. Don't hold yourself back. Just go with the flow and play your part in the flow. This is what the best performers do. A dancer, when um, she's performing on the stage, uh, the lighting, the audience, the, the, you know, the music, everything is ready and she just dance, dance to her best. So this the third level, going the flow of nature. The fourth level is very difficult, <laughs> uh, is to detach from results. You know, you are very concerned about the results, but you detach from one thing. And, you know, even when you are negotiating for your life, let's say you have, you have, you have been taken hostage, you'll be so calm. But it's very difficult to do, because um, although you are very concerned about the results, uh, you just focus on the flow uh, without intervening it. And then there's a fifth level. This is a total liberalization. Um, in some religious contexts, it's uh, described as an um, enlightenment. Um, you are truly yourself and you are totally integrated with the universe. You are part of it. You are in oneness with it. So these are the five levels. We can't immediately practice all of them, but let's start with something very simple and begin to see how it can help you to improve whatever that you do, I promise you. Um, you will see tremendous improvement in things you do if you can really put Wu Wei into practice. 
Um, well, we are going to talk more about it uh, in future videos, but I hope you have enjoyed this one as much as I do. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Mm -hmm.